Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Steam Indie Next Fest demo. Today, we're taking a look at Paperback Adventures, which is a uh, word-based roguelike deck-building game where you're crafting a deck of letter cards throughout each journey, collecting rewards from your victories, and each adventure unlocking new cards for the future. Um, we've been actually playing a lot of word games recently, but this one came out of nowhere, and it's actually a, a really kind of strange close one to heart for me. Uh, this is a game that is developed by Tim Fowers and published by Fowers Games. Uh, if you don't know who Tim Fowers is, he's an incredible board game uh, designer and enthusiast. I actually own uh, a couple board games by him. Uh, so Tim, if this video somehow reaches you, uh, I love Burgle Brothers. I look forward to, to checking out Burgle Brothers 2 in the future, and I love Paperback, and also uh, Fugitive. So uh, tons of awesome stuff coming out of this. I have everything to believe that this is going to be a great experience. Uh, so let's check out the demo, and let's see what's going on in, in Paperback Adventures. So we can select a hero. Two not available in the, uh, in the demo, so we'll play Robot Boy here made of metal he became the most human of all let's do it let's see what happens and a couple difficulty levels as well um we'll, we'll play normal and i would love to play this tutorial that sounds like a a great idea this is you you are ex machina okay hello this is your health bar 25 out of 25 i hear you don't let it reach zero what a novel concept <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see your energy, boons, and hexes here. Okay, and then here's our, our enemy, the awkward flirt flirtation. I wanted to say awkward filtration. Uh, sometimes a little dyslexia slips right in. In this battle, your enemy is the pesky suitor. Okay, it's time to destroy the incels? Are, are we here for it? Sure, the enemy has two health bars. This is the first stage health bar. Oh, so he goes into maximum overdrive here after the first stage. When the first bar is depleted, the enemy will be stunned. The enemy is defeated when the second stage health bar is empty. Okay. These are the enemy's boons and hexes. Enemies don't have energy. Okay. Enemies attack and defense for each round are displayed here. So you are attacking for five. You have no defense. Your enemy's next ability is here. He will take this action on his turn. So he's healing. Okay. And then these are my cards. Oh my god. Okay. A lot going on here. Um, these are your cards. Each round you'll use them to gain their indicated icons and activate one highlighted ability. Let's see what that means. So drag your cards up to the staging area and rearrange them to spell star. Okay, I will do that. The visible icons in the top corner of your cards indicate the attack, defense, and energy generated by this word. Okay, so I'm generating four defense and I'm generating one energy because that's what's on here. Okay, that sounds good. You will use the ability of the topmost card highlighted. In this case, it is the R. So we give two hex symbols to the enemy. Okay, cool. Once you're ready, click the submit button to confirm your word. Now, I mean, what if I wanted to do rats instead, right? So if I do rats, then we would do the ability of S, which is to still give two uh, hex to the enemy, but we also add two attack to the enemy attack. So I get it. Um, obviously, adding S to the end of a word increases its length and allows you to get an extra defense, but you give the enemy more attack in the process, whereas ending something with R doesn't really have a downside. That's really interesting and an incredibly intelligent bit of game design. Okay. Uh, so Star, you you have been hit. You, he attacked me with five. I thought you were healing, but thankfully your last word gave you four defense, so you only lost one heart. Okay. The highlighted card R is going to the fatigue pile because its ability was used. Aha. Okay. When a card is fatigued, it's no longer usable for the remainder of battle. The rest of the cards get discarded to the discard pile. Interesting. Okay. If your draw pile is empty, your discard pile gets shuffled. Fantastic. Um, this round, you'll spell the word Ogled. Click on this wild card to select the letter you're missing. Okay. Gotcha. So we can pick a G for that. Wild cards can't be unhighlighted. Ah, so do not accidentally uh, make a mistake. Move a fatigue card to your discard pile. Aha, uh -huh, okay. You currently have zero attack and five defense. We need to hit hard this turn. Okay. Press the display button to change your visible icons. 
What? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Changing the splay changes which symbols are visible in your word. Only one side of the symbols can be visible at a time. Interesting. Okay. So... I see. Okay. So each card... Oh, dude. This is, this is gonna get deep. Now you have two visible attack icons, but your stats indicate you have six, thanks to your new highlighted card. Which is the leftmost card now lose a heart gain for yada yada okay that's so brain melting to be honest okay the o is on top and highlighted the o's card removes a heart in exchange for attack uh, in addition to the attack from the l and the d dude this is an insanely good tutorial because this game is it's got some some depth to it enemy only has five health in stage one so hit him hard and break through the first stage okay so I smack you. You're stunned now. The enemy will skip its turn. Cool. So he is going to take away an energy from me. I don't really know what that means, but that's fine. In addition to cards, you also have items. Take a look at Rocket Punch. So it costs three energy to use. Aha. Okay. We gain two attack and defense this turn. Um, each item has an effect. When you use Rocket Punch, you gain it. Now, is this something I can do repeatedly or does it go away? You obviously want to activate it because he's going to make me lose an energy anyway, so we'll activate it. It just stays. Okay. You don't have to use all your letters to have a good turn. Spell the word wine. Why would I... Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll spell the word wine. Hit me with a little I action, little E action. So, visible icons are mostly attack, but we need some defense. Do we, though? He's not hitting me, is he? Or, or does he always hit me for five? Um, okay. I suppose we're only hitting for four. I don't know. I'm kind of okay with this trade, but that's fine. I'll, I'll splay you. This card's ability gives you a boon, which is used to buy improvements from the shop. Freaking hell, man. And it gives a hex. Each hex on the enemy makes him more vulnerable. Okay. Sure. I feel like you have now provided me every mechanic I need to know. Spell the word stead. I will. I will. Had the wild having to choose is interesting enemy will be busy healing this turn now is the perfect time for a big attack okay i'm going to splay that's a lot of attack man that's a lot of attack i love it it did add two to the enemy attack though um but i guess he wasn't doing anything so that's fine we also start with laser eyes okay remove up to four from the enemy but then they lose damage of it. That sounds sick. You're just going to take eight damage. I love that. Um, I absolutely love that for me. Get absolutely zapped to an oblivion. Okay, that was great. And then we'll do land, which is going to be enough damage to kill you. Okay, if the bottom card is a consonant, gain uh, a boon, which I also will, will get. Okay, yeah, that's sick. Okay, I fully understand. Sit, put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. I gain a boon for doing it. And then we choose an ending. Hover your mouse over an ending to see what the rewards are. At last, the disagreeable Mr. Crawlins relents in his flirtations thanks to your energetic rejection. Okay. Um, so we can draw three new upgraded cards. Select one to keep. Then select a non-penalty card to remove. I love this, honestly. But then we draw two new items and select. I, I still love this. Draw two new cards. Select one to keep. Select a non-penalty card to remove. We heal six. We start the next fight. No, dude, give me give me some upgraded cards. So, these are crazy, for sure. You can tell. Uh, dude, this J is, is nutty. This triple attack on the J. I mean, J is a hard letter to use, but I think it's kind of lit, right? Gain four attack. If this card is unused, retain it. That's also good, man. You're, the problem... The, here, here's the issue with a V, right? Starting a, a word with V is going to be hard. I'm going to take the J, man. I think the J is, is funky. I think the J is funky. Replace a card from the deck. Okay. Um, I would like to replace... Uh, okay. I would like to replace this L. No, I don't. I would not like to replace the L. I would like to replace... I'm going to re... <laughs> Why is this so hard? I don't really want to replace any of these because these are all the most common letters that you use in the damn dictionary, man. Um, okay, I would like to remove the D. 
I would like to remove the D. Plot armor. For each letter in your word, gain defense. That seems amazing. Uh, or cost one, gain three defense, but you give the enemy three defense. Frick that. I'm taking plot armor, man. Okay, and then crowns and health carry over. Open the shop. I'm in. Oh my god. Okay, you have some boons to spend. Buy something. <laughs> they, they no longer want to handhold me. Okay, so I could buy an HP or R. Uh, the P is interesting. Three hex on an enemy is a lot. That's a lot. We also could buy a mini fridge. Heal two or give two. So these are all items. This is a zero energy item. Draw a card if the letter is not in the enemy's name. Discard it. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's like unironically hilarious. It could give us an extra letter. Which... Pairs right into our... I, apparently I can't actually view any of this. Um, okay, you know what? Sure, I think that that's stupid. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that. But I also think I want to buy something here as well. Um, I think this H is, is good. I gotta replace a card though. What the frick do you replace? Okay, you're gonna you're gonna call me insane. I'm gonna replace this. No, I don't want to replace that O. Yeah, I don't want to replace that O. You might you might think I've lost my damn mind. I'm replacing the damn E. Or you know you know what this S is is bad, right? It gives two attack to the enemy. Let's get rid of the S. You're probably like, what the hell is this dude doing? Okay, um, hit me with the next battle. Let's do it. The Swamp Troll for each enemy boon they gain attack. I've completed the tutorial. Okay, the hand-holding will stop. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Okay. And we can... S wow, okay. So we, we get all kinds of cards here. So, uh, let's do something like the gain 10 attack. You, you, got a lot of, you got a lot of health, man, in stage 1 here. And he's getting mad. The enemy gains 4 crowns. But for each enemy crown, he gains an attack. Okay, so so hit me with something like, like this, right? I'm just going to go like so. That's a, a hit for 15. <laughs> that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. I could hit you for even more, though. Because, like, I could do Jailer, right? Is there any reason not to do this? I don't think so. Now we get him out of phase one. Now, here, here's the wild situation, right? I also still don't fully understand what's going on down here. What if I did this? And then I'm going to activate this. So this guy is the swamp troll. So theoretically, I could roll an R from our draw pile. And it would be free. So what do you got? An N? An N is not in Swamp Troll. Okay, so then let, let us do Jailer. I'm going to submit this. You are going to be stunned. I'm so good at the game. Okay, that sounds good. Um, And now we got this. So now where do we sit? You're going to gain two crowns. I don't really mind. Uh, What what words can we do here? I see Throne as an, an opportunity with an N being... Well, you could... You could wait a minute. No, I do not see Throne. I see Throw, though. Um, where this would be what we do. We lose a heart to draw two extra cards next turn. Okay, yeah. I... Wait a minute, I don't have an R. Yeah, that's a, that's a good... That's good. But now I have turned this into an, an H. Understood. Understood. Okay, so let's, let's instead do... Let's do... Worth... And then I'm still going to splay right to get to get this W here. Um, it's not a big attack round, but we're going to gear up for a large round here in a second. And I think that that's, that's pretty good for me. Enemy loses all of its hexes, which I don't have. For each letter in your word, the enemy heals. But, however, what if on the flip side, I just kill you, right? So that that's that's kind of what we have to look at here. Um There there's a lot of letters. <laughs> there's a lot of letters. Uh so we could go K 
okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, you gotta actually use your brain here, which is unfortunate for me, because I, I don't often have one. Um, this is going to be an I, L, O, except we'd rather this O, and then this would be an R. If you have four more defense, gain four attack. So I could swap these, you're a defense, you're a defense, you're a defense, but then it's gonna do, it's gonna do this one instead. Frick, okay, um... Yeah, okay, okay. On the bright side, I mean, this is still five attack. We get energy out of this. I mean, let's let's draw a card. An H is in the Swamp Troll. If you have four or more defense, gain four attack. I mean, this gets, this gets insane because now this activates both of them, right? So we could instead go um, with something like Thor. It's just Thor, man. Thor is not a word to them. That's fair. I mean, that it's not a word. Um, but Thorn is... Thorn is definitely a word. Um, so that's eight. I mean, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. I can't use this. Only use it once per turn. Um, what What if I do this? He's, he's just thorny, man. He's just a thorny boy. Um, probably not something that we care about. Uh... This O going in is... What? A thornal? That's... <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Althorn? Althorn is a word. Okay. But we don't actually care. Yeah, we don't actually care. That that actually made our, our situation worse. So, so give me Thorn. I'm okay with this. No reason to make him thorny because he's going to heal more stuff. So I hit you for eight. I mean, that's that's reasonable. You regain five, but... I mean, I think I'm fine with this. So now, you're doing an enlarged swipe. I think that means you're attacking. Uh, so let's... I feel like that's that's a little hard to see. Um, but but that's okay. You've got two crowns, so you just get stronger with each swipe is kind of your vibe here. So we have gain two attack, two defense this turn. We also have for each letter in our word we can gain defense. So we, we have to get up to six defense if we're going to make this, this happen. Boy, there's a lot to think about in this game. Um... So we could go with, like, older, right? So we would throw a, a D in here. We would swap the enemy defense and attack. So he would not hit us anymore. But I obviously would not hit him. Or I could instead just go splay right on this one. So we would gain... We would gain a good... Honestly, we would gain a good chunk of defense. So it's now 4-1. Um, I could then do this to gain defense for each thing we have. That way we don't take any damage from your six banger. Okay. Is that, is that what, is that what I want? <laughs> is that what I want? I mean, I can also put this here and this becomes bolder. Sure. Now, does my defense stay? No, it goes away. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's go, if you have four or more, you gain attack. Then we want to just do something like hand, right? And then we're going to splay right. Ah, except that's fair. What, what about uh, car brand Honda? You're okay with that. Fair enough. I'll hit you for six. Uh, you're going to regenerate. Enemy loses all my boons. I don't have any. But you're going to heal again, you little, you little butt. Ah, you damn boons. I almost killed you. Or your hexes, whatever they are. Okay. Gotta hit you for six. Gotta hit you for six. We can gain some attack. Uh, ale is not going to be good enough. Let, let's do this. An N. Sucks to see. Always sucks to see. I don't have any crowns. Um, you don't have any hexes. Okay. So let's, let's go L-E-A-D here. I, I think I'm okay with this. If the bottom card is a consonant, we gain a crown. So we would gain a crown, we'd gain a lot of energy. I'm hitting you for two. I could gain attack and defense. Okay, yeah, I think we probably should. We, we could splay right on this one. We would gain 
a lot more defense, not as much attack. Okay, you know what? Since he's hitting for eight, I think that that's probably intelligent. Boy, you gotta really think in this game, and I'm I'm not necessarily good at that. Uh, Tim, please don't don't hurt me. Uh, okay, let's go alone. All alone. Just me and my being bad. And then we're going to do this. Nope, don't want to do that at all. Don't want to do that at all. If the bottom card is a constant gain, is not. This gains a, a crown and gives a boon. That's not too, too bad. Okay, let, let's do that for right now. Now I have so much energy. Now we go in for the, the damn kill. Man, we go in for the damn kill. I'm low on cards. That's a problem. <laughs> Discard as many cards from your hand and then draw them? Nope. Seems like a terrible idea. You only have one thing, so that's going to do zero damage. Okay, we, we have severely messed this one up right now. So I'm starting with a 2-2. Two, two. I'd like to get to 9 somehow. Is that going to happen? Nope. Probably not. So this is going to be Loon. But I'm going to splay to the right. Hit you for 5. It's tough. It's tough. We could do Looney. I gained some energy. I I gotta just hit you, man. You're you're hitting me for a ton. You're hitting me for I'm gonna die to this guy. Okay, I gotta do I gotta do a small bit of damage. Give me the extra attack. No. Uh gift fricked. <laughs> At this point, just just die, man. Oh, we're getting messed up. We're getting messed up. It's it's brainy, man. It's very brainy. Okay, we should heal for sure. Um, draw three new cards, select one to keep. Draw three boss MacGuffins. What the frick is a boss MacGuffin? Okay, I need the heal 10, and I like the idea of upgrading a card anyway. So we could upgrade... Oh, this is to pick one. Heal a heart and strip two uh, crowns from your enemy. That's kind of cool. Honestly, dude, I think that's really cool. And an eye is absolutely good to have. So a MacGuffin, this is just like a, a relic, right? Each round you don't use the enemy vowel or any wild cards gain to attack. Okay, gain an extra wild card. Each round your word has five or more letters. Double the attack and defense from your bottom card. That seems crazy to me. That seems crazy. So then we're gonna upgrade a card. I feel like just upgrading like A is a good idea. It's not that good of an upgrade though. Jesus criminy, it ain't nothing, man. It just adds like one symbol to the card. For most of these. Um, okay. Jesus. Uh, what about T? For each defense, gain an attack. See, that pairs so well with the H, right? Yeah, okay. Um, take two crowns from the enemy? Okay, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Starting with an I is hard, though, so we'll see what happens. I got two crowns to spend. Um, obviously having the relics is, is probably your, your ideal play. If you have one or more crowns, give two hexes. So that fits in now, um, with our synergy. Dude, the fact that you can only have so many letters is insane. It's insane. So that pairs with our I. And we want the E. So, I mean, this might sound crazy. Am I getting rid of A? I think I am. Okay, I'm getting rid of A. I just got rid of the most like common letter in the English language. That seems like a bad idea, but we'll vibe with it. Let's go to our next battle, the Drowsy Giant. I always look at, dude, how many letters are in here when we have our one thing. And that's, I mean, that's a lot of unique letters that we have. When an enemy enters stage two, they deal five damage, okay? I will totally forget that. The enemy gains three crowns. He's going to gain three crowns, huh? Okay, you're going to do four damage to me on this turn. Very good to know. Let's go holier. Okay. Let's go holier. Holier than thou. I'm not taking any damage. I'm hitting you for six. I also... Uh, I have five or more, so you're going to be doubled. But obviously, there's none on you. So that's a little bit of a shame. Um, let's, let's activate this. An N. I can take... Holy urn? Okay, fair enough. Holnier? 
Horniel probably does not work either. Okay, uh, discard as many cards as you want from your hand, then draw that many plus one. We could do it. Um, I guess I'm not really using the crown for anything else. Besides, obviously, it's my uh, lifeblood. And what are we going to replace here? I mean, we could, in fact, draw our R, which would be pretty, pretty freaking nuts. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, it's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to activate. Choose cards to discard. I want to discard the N. Okay. Give me my R. It's a T and a J. Tough, tough luck, honestly. But all of a sudden, Joltier hits you for 16, which is kind of crazy. Um, or I can get 10 defense, but Joltier sounds fun. Um, okay, hitting you for 16 is just fun. <laughs> that's just fun. So I'm going to hit you for 16. I know I take two damage, but I think that's okay. What do we got here? Um, so I could do... Boy, they're uh, tough letters here, if I'm being honest. We, we could do, like, right, and that works. Um, we would draw two extra cards next turn. I do think that that's probably a good idea. You have given me my N. Okay. So we could do... Uh, we could do a whiner. Would you do whiner? I mean, you could do whiner if you use all of this right so whiner like this someone who whines we could give you two of these suckers but you're gonna lose to gain six crowns really that seems like a lot my guy um okay let's go whiner it hits you for seven it's gonna put you into your next phase i don't have defense though so let's get defense because he's gonna hit me for five when he goes into stage two Okay, I'm intelligent, I think. I hit you. You're stunned. You hit me for five, but I blocked it. Okay, he's so good. Very good. Very good. I like it. I like it. Draw me a card. It's an N. My dude, the, the drowsy giant, does have an N. This is, this is a lot of letters. There's a lot of letters. So, I'm looking at something like... Th 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 thine. Okay. So, Dine, if I have four or more defense, I gain attack. I don't. What if we... Thorn? Is that a word? Nope. Okay. What about Thorn Ear? He's kind of cracked with it. Um, so, now we would gain four attack from this. I'm hitting you for seven. You're dead, dude. That's unfortunate. Okay, see ya. How the hell are you alive? You had defense, I think, maybe. I'm I'm mad. Okay. Um, <laughs> Rulio, the greatest name to ever, to ever grace the, the life. I do have energy, so you have, you got no damn boons, man, or no damn hexes, whatever the hell they are. I gotta hit you for three. This should not be that hard. Just, just hit him with a nice little lure right here. Hits you for three, you got no defense. When an enemy is defeated, they deal each enemy crown prevents an attack and then is removed. That's how you survived. You will not survive this. Good night, sweet prince. Time for you to go. Honestly, that went fine to me. Um, that went fine. Draw three new cards, select one to keep. Okay. Gain a random new card, select one to keep. We add a penalty card, but you draw two new items. No, you know what? Give me give me four MacGuffins. MacGuffins, whatever they are. If your cards are splayed right, heal two. This S is very good, man. Bottom card is a constant and gain four attack, and it comes with four defense. Obviously a better splay left card, but I mean this S is really hard to pass up when we have such a such a strong deck right now. Uh, so let's let's nix. Um, we don't really need this L anymore, I don't think. Does the L pair well with our other things? No, honestly, I don't think you need the L. First time you shuffle your discard pile, give two hex. It's like never happened, okay? First time you shuffle your never happens. Each round you have five or more fatigue cards drawn next. Reach, heal, battle, strip. I, none of these are that good, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I guess we do have some heal meta at this point, so let's, let's run that. Do I want any of these? I'm gonna be honest, I don't want an OP or R in my current situation. The P does not help me because J and W don't go great with P. 
So I, I will close. Taking the J kind of freaked us up, but that's okay. Hello, homework monster. You add three defense to every turn unless my word is six plus letters long. It's my time to shine. Okay. So first things first, the homework monster has so many letters in his name. Please activate. He definitely has a T in his name. Okay. Um, now we could go for a reboot if we wanted to get a little crazy with it. Um, I don't know how much this J is going to help us in this situation, but we could do like, I mean, here, here's the test of the day. Does Juliet work? It does not. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but Julie N, that's not how you spell Julien. Like you're Julianing tomatoes. Um, okay, so let's jolt. T Jolt. A nice jolt. Okay, jolt is still a good word. I mean, dude, this is 14 damage to your head. You're gaining five crowns this turn and, and adding three defense every t single frickin' turn. You're you're miserable. You're miserable. Okay, I'm going to do this. I would like to reboot my U and H. I'm looking for an R. We love it. We absolutely love it. Okay. So now we can go Joltier. We're hitting you for 19. Just kidding. I'm using this E instead. I'm hitting you for 20. We're out of phase one. That seems like a great situation. Yeah, that seems like a great situation. Just, just send it. Phase one completed and you're stunned. Honestly, you're a mega loser. You're mega procrastinating. You're gaining seven crowns. Who do you think you are? Okay. Um... If cards are splayed right, heal too. I'm I'm chill with this. Give me an R, give me an E. Hitting for five. Healing two on top of that. Let's also activate the son of a gun. You gave me my, my better R. I would love my better R. Three six now. We do have an energy. Um You don't have any don't have any hexy. I'm not really doing any hex action here. So Swore is pretty good. Um yeah, dude, it's pretty good. I I think I'm okay with this. What what happens if we do this? I don't attack nearly enough to care. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with this. You take a little damage, but is not bad in my opinion. Now you're doing seven damage to me on this turn. That's that's rough. However, I got I got nine just just sitting here ready to go. Right. Oh, never mind. That's not this E, not that E. So now, if you have four more defense, gain four attack. So I'm hitting you for five, or I'm hitting you for eight. So you're taking five. You're hitting me for still a good chunk, but I'm going to do this. And now guess what? I'm not taking any damage and I'm hitting you for a lot. Uh, and I'm hitting you for, there's no I in homework monster. You're a little butt face, aren't you? Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. This is still very good. This is still very good. Each round that your word has five or more letters, you double the attack and the defense from your bottom card. So this E is actually getting doubled. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Just gotta, gotta remind myself everything. This is a good turn for me, man. I take no damage. He gets fricked up. I mean, we're about to kind of body him. You're hitting for seven. For each enemy crown, you gain an attack. Then the enemy gains crowns. We, we gotta just kill you here, okay? So, so we're going to go... We're going to go... With... Awoken. This is not going to, to end. We, 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 uh, awoken is not going to be good enough. Because, just kidding, maybe... Possibly hits for four, not good enough. Okay. But Woken is still we would draw two extra cards. No, that ain't gonna work either. Okay, give me give me another letter to work with. It is our nice E. Um So we could do weak. I mean dude, we just don't have attack. I, I gotta I gotta get Wiccan? Wiccan is a word to some people. <laughs> Wick, wicked, you could do um, if you actually had the ability to to do that. 
Um, Nick. Just does four damage, man. Just does four damage. We cannot add any more damage. There, there has to be some... Nice. Does five. Onus. <laughs> Wonus. Okay, hold on. Nice, nice is good. Now, what if we could... Ice. No, that's also not going to work as well as what we thought. Um, Weiss. Weissen. Uh, okay, a Weiss. I think we've tried several times. Uh, Wiki. <laughs> Isu. I got, I'm missing something, man. I'm missing something. Um, w I C. Wick. Wicking. Weak. Hold on. Weaken. Spelled as wrong as you can do. Weak on, weak no. Weak. Weak go. Just get a little weako with it. We we have to kill you here, okay? It's it's a necessity to body you right here and, and now. Um, keep in mind if your card has five or more letters, then we can do bottom card gets the good stuff. So you could do. It's only five. Wine. How about Mayor of Ohio, Mike Dewine? Nope. Dwine is a word, apparently. But the bottom card gets the doubleness. So if we uh, yeah, it's just attack. Okay. Um Oh, but you use this E. There you go. Dwine. You have a you have the defense. <laughs> I have to hit you for nine in order to do this. Okay. What if uh Bowine? Bo it's Bovine. This W going away and doing bovine does not improve anything. Just kidding. Yes, it does. Because I now have... What? Unless your letter is six long, I kill you. Get bovine. Get cowed, you son of a gun. Okay, I'm actually insane with it, I think. Fantastic, man. Um, So now we can... Uh, Okay, I'll do this one. The heal eight, I like. Uh, if your cards are splayed left, gain four attack. I think that is better than the E we have. Each round, you fully defend the enemy's attack. You deal half of their attack back. That's insane. I love that. And now we gain another item. If you have three or more crowns, that, like, never happens. Healing one is horrible. Um, wow. Sure, I'll take the moon boots, but it is not... Is not that good. Is not that good. So, do we want any of this? No, I don't, unfortunately. I really don't. So, send me into my next battle. The Bandit King. Each time you use an item, the enemy gains three defense. A good thing I don't use my items a whole hell of a lot. Um, okay. Let's do it. Hit me with an acorn. Okay. You swap the enemy's uh, stuff. I'm going to give him two hexes. Honestly, I don't mind it. You're hitting me for seven right now, uh, two. So... I could also, I mean, we, we could we could do some other stuff. We could do churn instead. Which I think is fine. I could also do uh, churro. A little five and four. Or a little five and six. That seems better. Yeah, that seems way better. I'll hit you with a little churro. We could want it poster. I don't think you need to. If I lose any health, add three penalty cards to my discard pile. I will, I will lose health. I don't really want penalty cards, but I also think that this is like... I mean, it may just be the best we get. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. You've added a Z, an S, and an X. I don't know what expended means, but that's, that's fine. Um, okay, so we're gonna go jaw for sure and just kill you. I'll get you out of phase one, right? And it'll stun you. It's just, just a positive play for Tyler. I, I like that one a lot. You're adding a penalty card to the discard pile, but not doing anything else. I think I'm uh, in love with that. We're going to want to splay our cards to the right, so we could then do something like Steer. 
it's actually a horrific play for us. Um, but I, surprisingly, I don't mind this. I could add the attack and defense, but I, I actually think this is a good time to just hit me with a singular heal, right? He takes a little bit of damage. You added another J to my deck. Okay, what the frick? Um, yeah, I'm gonna activate this. We're gonna just get rid of those real quick because they ass. Um, okay, you're hitting for 12. We would like to swap your stuff. So now we could go with um, a jar and then we don't take damage if I activate this. Oh, you're hitting for six and nine now. Should have thought about that. Should have definitely thought about that. Okay. What about the, the mysterious villain from Aladdin, Jafar? Okay, fair enough. Um, a jar sounds great, honestly. We we still take a little bit of damage. He's gaining I'm gaining seven energy, but you're hitting me for seven. Okay. That's a lot. This card cannot be expended. Expend when you use it in your card and destroy it. So I, I'm stuck with this S forever. Which is honestly, it's fine. Um, so how about SWAT? And then I don't have enough defense, but I could activate this to gain the defense. So now I, I gain the attack. That's actually a really good play for me. I think I'm okay with that. You hit me for two. I have 13 energy, so I can really do whatever the hell I want up here. But obviously every time we do it, things get a little bit, a little bit messier. Um... Can't get rid of cards, though. I'm gonna draw one. Unfortunate. Um, you're just doing three block, huh? So we, we could do, like, mix. Splay it this way. We heal one, take two crowns from the enemy. When we heal, we actually take it from him. So I don't mind that at all, honestly. You're hitting for 19. Enemy gains 5 attack plus 1 attack for each of your uh, energy, huh? That's a rough one. That, that is what we call a rough one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, healing 2. Well, you can go with nose. The nose does nose, for sure. Uh, if your cards are splayed left, we gain 4 attack. That's just literally not enough to, to kill you. I mean, I don't have I don't have any way to kill you, but let's call a spade a spade. It's a shovel. There's there's no. I mean, you you could do snooze, right? But who cares, right? Because you're still hitting me for an ungodly amount. Well, okay, never mind. You're not hitting me for that much now because I'm using all of my energy. I'm using all my energy. That makes sense to me. Okay. So I could... Use, I'm, I'm low on that. Understood. Understood. Can't use... Yeah, okay. But I use all my energy, but then he obviously gains the defense. So what a, what an interesting mechanic right there. Um, we actually will only... We will only take one damage from this. A very smart fight. Very smart fight. You're giving me seven energy. So theoretically, I should be spending all of it again. Um, but I'm instead going to do Sworn to start. Hit you for four. I don't really love it. But I can add to attack to that. Now I hit you for six, which only hits you for three. And then my defense is actually horrible. Um, but now my defense is good. Okay, I'm going to do it. You took no damage, though. Okay, uh, you took two damage. I don't know, man. It's a mess, if I'm being honest. Um, gotta hit you for four. Gotta just hit you for four. There is not possible to hit you for four. There's not enough cards in the dam- Unless we end up duping this R. So it would be... Sour... Is hitting for six. Oh, because I'm losing one. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Good night. Good night, Bandit King. See you later. Adios. I win. I'm the best to ever do it. Dude, how long is the demo? Okay, draw draw cards. Gain crowns. Um, sure. That's fine. 
I like crowns. That's a good K. That's a, that's a better C, if I'm honest. Yeah, that's a better C. So I think you use this on... It's a huge defense card. You would want to remove another defense card, probably. I think you remove your other E at this point. And then we have three crowns, so I can buy one of these. Draw an extra card at the start of battle sounds crazy. That sounds great to me. And then here we go, the Roar and Rex. This is six out of six. Okay, let's do it. Um, so each time you lose hearts, you gain a hex. For each of your hexes, draw one less card. Okay. Sure. Um, he's like the strongest thing to ever live. Okay. So, each time you lose, you gain, uh, each time I lose hearts, I gain a hex. For each of my hex, I draw one less card. Okay. And you know, I'm gaining two hex for this. That's horrible, for the record, but that's fine. The, the Roaring Rex, thank God that the counts in his name. Um, we want to, he's not attacking, so we, we can just do like sure right and then hit you for five is not horrible i mean i guess we would rather do shire here am i good with shire i think i'm good with shire I don't think there's a better word here. I mean, there probably is. That, I mean, that's the fun is that there's always going to be better words. Okay, I'm good with I'm good with Shire. It's not amazing, obviously, but we we weren't dealt insane stuff. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This is miserable. If you defend all the enemy attack, you lose one hex. So you just want me to defend everything. Dude, all these enemies play so uniquely. Okay, if you have three or more crowns, lol, funny joke. Uh, low on all that. So I have to somehow come up with seven defense here? Freaking how? Well, okay, you do it by... You do it by swapping that. I will defend all of the enemy damage because he's not going to do damage. Right? So... That seems like a that seems like a, a lie. That seems like a lie. I defended his attack. Cause he didn't attack. Okay, fair enough. Um, what do you do here? I don't know. You you go with jaw. Um, you hit him for 13, and then you hope for the best, I guess. Or you could defend a little. I mean you might as well do this. An E. Don't really think that that changes my life a whole heck of a lot. You could do this. Now we hit for 15. Um, I mean, Jew doesn't really help us in this situation. I'd rather, I mean, that's gonna go away. So, I mean, this at least gives me energy. That's fine. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't love it. I'm not going to defend all this either, so you're just going to hit me for seven. I mean, I'm... Oh, I'm actually dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead because the Jade does damage to me. Oh, uh, dude, we were close, though. I mean, we're, th this is a hard demo, man. This game, it breaks your brain a little bit, okay? It breaks your brain. Um, I had fun, though. What, what a unique little demo. Uh, Paperback Adventures, highly recommend. Go check this out. You can play the demo uh, in the description down below right now. Uh, check out some of the Tim Fowers board games, too. They, they are phenomenal. Uh, really, really good stuff. But fun demo for sure. Going to check out this full release when it comes. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like on the video. Much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.